Hey guys, uh, welcome back for a new chapter. So this is the chapter where we gonna learn uh, uh, what actually the Android mobile analysis is and how we gonna uh, perform the analysis like uh, be it static or dynamic analysis and what are the entry points we look into and how we gonna analyze the different uh, families of uh, malware, be it uh, spyware, ransomware, irrespective of the PHS, right? So uh, like I make sure like you know uh, like whatever you learn so far it is just a basic and understanding what is the context of a malware analysis but now what we gonna learn is the uh, physical uh, in the sense like and so on uh, on how we gonna perform the analysis right so uh, for uh, like you know to give a difference between static and dynamic uh, uh, where we uh, in a static we gonna use a decompiler like. JB or JADAX or GDE, irrespective based on your uh, need, right? So, but right now in this uh, videos, I'm gonna use uh, JADAX. Even you can use a JB also. It's a very good small code, right? So, where in the static analysis, we gonna look into a code flow, like how exactly the malware is behaving, like uh, like now suppose consider spyware, right? So, how how uh, the application is uh, grabbing the contacts and SMS or whatever the logs, right? And how it is sending to uh, the C2 server, wherever it is uploaded, right? So this is the flow when it comes to something like phishing, how, how the phishing URL is uh, loading from a web view or whether they have captured your cookie or what kind of malicious activity through a code way. In a sense, we gonna learn, we gonna read a code and every line of code or we, we, we will try to understand the behavior of an application through a code way right so this is what uh like static analysis in the sense so when we talk about dynamic analysis like we we will uh perform uh, you know a real-time uh simulation like in this uh you know i'm gonna use a uh, jenny motion as avd and we do have a bug to as a foxy tool to look into all the like you know c2s or whatever the incoming outgoing traffic and apart from that, apart from that, like we, we will use a lot of tools like Medusa or some uh, a Quark engine to understand how, uh, like, you know, the properties we discussed, right? So, uh, to tell in a, uh, like a simpler way, uh, in a dynamic analysis, we will try to mimic how the malware behaves in a real world environment inside a sandbox environment we created that is uh, right now we're gonna put it in a Jenny, a Jenny motion right so we will we will see like how how uh, different kinds of malware behaves something like ransomware right so our ransomware behaves in a, uh, uh, in a hand wired how how it will be uh, whether it just encrypt or it, it just gonna show the that ransomware uh, window or uh, if it is something like Trojan how it behaves if it is like something like backdoor how the contacts gonna exfiltrate right so we're gonna see everything uh, in detail based on uh, PHS uh, right so this is about that just brief information about how the static and dynamic work so with the example while doing this PHA uh, we will tell you more deep right so so far for this demonstration I have chosen five PHS first one is a uh, you know, spyware and ransomware, phishing and backdoor and trojans. So we will be uh, doing five uh, PHA in a sense different kinds of malware and we're going to show you what are the entry points we're going to look into it and how will you consider this application as a spyware, how will you consider this application as a ransomware, trojan, everything in detail in upcoming videos, right. So uh, this is about uh, just a small introduction on static and dynamic analysis as you are already uh, aware of Android PT then that will not make much difference right so see you guys again in the next videos bye bye.